Good morning. Good morning. You know, today's August the 12th, Friday, August the 12th. And as Tish would oftentimes say, it's time to go, Sleeping Beauty, but we won't dwell on that. Anyway, are you having a good weekend planned up? You got fish and chips on the tap. Fish and chips later. And then uh, I'm not too sure what we got for the weekend, but we've got a, the weather forecast is fine. So we could be in the garden, you know, with the weed oh. whack out the strimmer. We could be yes. busy. Yes. I talked to it, or I talked with him. I watched the new Peach Dragon trailer, and I thought of Emily. I said, Emily would love this movie. I mean, it's it's a, a good, di good Disney go. So Peach Dragon, come to a screen near you soon. That's the end of that shameless plug. And so today, on Friday wrap-up, let's get to it so we don't run out of time, right? On Monday, Monday past, on August the 8th, we talked as we oftentimes do about refreshing the routine and the things that we discussed in there is working with the flavor of LinkedIn. It's a huge, huge business opportunity because they have over 400 million active members in over 200 countries. You can't ignore that. So if you're in B2B, um, the first dissection I did was to create this campaign I did for LinkedIn. I dissected an infographic that's on my Pinterest board. And you can get these show notes, like always, I always forget to say that. The show notes are available at thegyrocookreport.podbean.com. Thank you, Kelvin, for that. The links are all discussed there in detail, so if you need to get those like Monday show, Tuesday show, Wednesday show, those are all linked up there. So you make the graphic for your LinkedIn campaign with your text links. So the first thing you want to do is go to Notepad++ and make up your links that you're going to share. And make sure that they're all Twitter compatible. That is to say they're under 140 characters. Then you go to Pablo, which is a thing from uh, buffer.com and it's free image creation tool. It's got a thing right in it. This is if you want to make a graphic or an infographic for Pinterest, use this template and then you pick the background, you paste your text in, put in your logo like I did if you want to do a shameless plug and Bazinga, it's there. You add each of the text files in the Pinterest sized infographic and put it into the footer when you share it on Pinterest because search engines can't read graphics. They can tell you the name of the graphic. So if the graphic is a bowl of fruit, put that in as the alt text, but don't put in like image 30592777, et cetera, et cetera, because that just makes no sense to the search engine. That'll never work. Right. So there you have it. That's Monday's tips on getting a LinkedIn campaign together. On Tuesday, SEO Tips Tuesday started off with some informative links from blogs about SEO trends. And the trends for 2016 is discussed in this first business of community post. And it went on and on about the things to do with SEO to get you started, not the full meal deal, just the 12 basic simple ways to get started with SEO. And I'll tell you right now, SEO to get well, to get Doing it right takes a long time. It is not a quick thing. It's not like putting a post into Facebook. Oh, I can see it. My friends can too. It's not that fast of a process. SEO, think about it in terms of months. And also to consider it's an ever-changing industry. So what you're going to do in SEO today, a month from now, are you still doing that? Really? So keep up with the, the pace of what SEO's technology is. Fixing broken links about H1 headers, about canoni canonicalization of your link. That's a big word. So those notes are, are there in the show notes under Tuesday's SEO tips. Wednesday, we went, and we've changed the name from Wednesday. It used to be The Mind. I'm going, what? Now it's What's on Our Mind. And what's on our mind is Wednesday, we talked about what's a content management system. And I touted the virtues of Joomla, 
J-O-O-M-L-A. If you haven't seen that one, give that a go on Wednesday's show notes. And the, the, the features there talk about being a site administrator, about logging, about creating an article and how to learn more. And it's also at the bottom of the show notes there is the questions on doing layout design questionnaire. The one that we use for V-Domain hosting layout design. Um, there's about 10 questions that will give us a text picture of what you want to do visually with your website. At least we can get started. And and it's not that's not a fast process either, I should add. The Thursday show notes on B2B Thursday, we talked with socialmediab2b.com about five ways to get started in B2B content on marketing. Okay. So your B2B content marketing also has to work with social, okay? And there's some links there that talk about it. There's five links there from, that's right, social media B2B. Did I give them too many plugs? I guess not. And the lady that put this together, her name is Julia Martin. And Julia's got over a decade of administrative and project management uh, experience. And so she's shepherded professional dreams and a wide variety of disciplines, including finance, insurance, sales, and performing arts. So she's got a good cross section of a lot of experiences to base her information on. She went on to provide some links in there about the ever-changing landscape and B2B social media. Like there's ideas for generating more qualified B2B leads on LinkedIn is an, one of the articles that she's um, curated there and it's from Whittington Consulting. So there's some good things to be had in the Friday wrap up. Um, I'd invite you to take a look at those because we did a lot of work on getting those together. And oh, one last little pearl in the oyster and this won't be in the show notes. This is just for you and I in the eye in the sky. I found in my research a link social mention Dot com. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, users, based on your own experience, give that a go and see if you like what you see there. Let us know. Socialmention.com. It's free to use. And so now I get into the part that we, that we wind down the show. Look at the show notes also for the thank yous that we've got listed there. And again, you're going to go to, to get to the show notes, go to the Guy or Cook Report podbean.com. The link there will go to our WordPress powered blog, which will have the Friday wrap up show notes and identifies also all the thank yous that we do for people like Fraser Ramsey, Edinburgh Dusters. They gave us the idea for the cook report. There wouldn't be one without it. And uh, congrats to uh, Fraser. He's, I think, is it his niece that's getting married? Yeah. Somebody's getting, yeah. Somebody's getting married soon and congrats on that. Um, and have a good weekend there in, in Scotland, which I'm sure they do every weekend, don't you think? Unless it's rainy. Thanks to Eileen Smith from Basic Blog Tips for sharing with us about Screencast-O-Matic many months ago and for being a fan of the show. The other thank yous that are listed there is the, the links for the people that are in blab.im under Friends Just Chatting. My co-host, this guy over here, has a channel there every weekday morning, Monday through Friday, called Friends Just Chatting. Look for that logo and just chat. I mean, we've talked about, I think the most fun topic we talked about recently, what were your first seven jobs? Can you remember? Or are you old enough to have had seven jobs? The co I want to ask Kelvin, he says, yeah, I've had two. I said, no, and, and in your whole life, you've only had two. Yep, only two. So we'll, we'll maybe do a show about that. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Um, we invite you to become a patron of the show. There's a link for that in the show notes as well as a evaluation question link. There's a link to subscribe to the newsletter, which is going to come out every Friday today. And it's got the, the Friday wrap up in that as well. So if you want to get that by email instead of your RSS feed, you can do that. Follow us on Facebook, The Guy or Cook Report. Follow us on Twitter, The Guy or Cook Report. And then I think I'm going to say, have I forgotten anything? I don't think so. 
I'm getting better. I just, it's like wine as it gets it's older, about, yeah. as it gets older, it gets better. Um, join us on fire talk with you with, there's a link for that in the show notes too. And so on that note, I think I'm going to say those three magic words. Then you guys have a good weekend. Thanks for yeah, joining. Have a good us. weekend yeah. everyone. Right. And followers, we appreciate you. It's a wrap.